Good morning, happy Saturday. Welcome to a weekend in my life. Hello, I'm currently walking back to my apartment. I got coffee from Ralph's. Cute little pink sleeve for October. Since it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, all of the houses are decorated. But yeah, I'm just walking. Cute, lots of spider webs. It is truly beautiful out here, so glad I came out for a walk. I'm gonna head back and get ready for brunch. Cool. Hello, hello, hello. Everyone say happy birthday, Aline. Happy birthday, Aline. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got our food. Mm. Looks delicious. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Pancakes for the table, of course. Blueberry compote. Killing it. This smells so good. It's a pancake. It's 10. Control over it. Besides gravity. Bye, girlies. All right, so Ruth is on her way, but we're going to the UGG party in Brooklyn today. Um, and I need mascara, because you cannot see my eyelashes. Where is it at? I'm gonna use the Ame Cole mascara, just did a simple smoky eye. Yeah, gonna take my hair scarf off in a second. Um, but yeah, um, Wearing this dress from Newly with tights, and I think I'm gonna wear my Doc Martens. Um, but it's like a cool swirl pattern, I guess. It's cute. Um, I don't think I'm gonna wear a jacket because it's got sleeves. It's a lot of fabric, and I don't want to get hot, so I think I'm just gonna wear this. It is 58 degrees, so yeah, cool. Love that for me. 
to get some mascara on and then I think we'll be ready to go. Hello, what is up friends? I just got back from the UGG event and I completely forgot that I was vlogging to be honest. But I did get some video footage on my phone, so um, yeah. But basically uh, UGG is opening a pop-up in Williamsburg, so they were launching it. It's called the Fuel House and it's got some like interactive, um, like not modules, what's, what's it called? like interactive exhibits almost and it was curated by a few artists so um super cool got to see some of the different uggs that are available i feel like uggs has had like a really successful like i don't want to say like rebrand but like invigoration of like who is wearing uggs now because i feel like um i was in high school from like 2010 to 2014 and we would wear like the like mid calf camel uggs with skinny jeans and that was like you didn't have the uggs you like weren't cool not actually but like kind of because it was high school and we were dramatic uh i feel like they really come back around with like the minis and the platforms even though i saw the platforms in person and i feel like those are not really the vibe like practically i don't know maybe it's something you'd have to like try on but um yeah i've been toying with the idea of getting some of the like ultra minis or minis so i don't know but um yeah it was cool we got to see the pop-up and then they had like drinks and snacks and everything um and then tiara whack performed um she is very good live also i'm gonna take off my makeup because we cannot go to sleep with our makeup on also it's the first time i'm not having a middle part in like years <laughs> i feel a little bit questionable about it but i just did like a slipped back situation but yeah that was the vibe super cute um i'm going to change really quick i'll be back in a second anyway <clears throat> so i'm back just changed into this top which i think is from um sweaty betty which i love um i also love when shirts have the like finger holes i don't really know why but it's a vibe um not for when i'm doing skincare oh. um so i finished all of my garnier micellar water which i think i got when maddie was here um because i didn't have any makeup remover at the time um so i, I picked this up randomly i think i want to try the la roche posay version of this um because i do like the micellar water although i have been using um the cerave um cleansing balm um, and basically it's just like um, like a balm and you like take a little bit and you just rub it and it gets all your makeup off um, and then I just use the uh, eye makeup remover to take my eye makeup off um, I don't really know why this is like two different steps but I feel like the consistency of the eye makeup remover is not for like using for the whole face um, but yeah, it just, it gets it off so easily, like even the mascara comes off, um, so yeah, I'm a big fan of that, um, but yeah, we're back, or I'm back early, um, it's like 10.30, which... I personally really like I'm not a huge like going out person um I do like to be I'm a homebody which nothing wrong with that I don't think um but I like it because I'm watching um one of us is lying which is a show on peacock and it is so good it's kind of like a mix of like 
Gossip Girl and Pretty Little Liars. I think it's based off like a book series, but they adapted it for TV on Peacock and it's so, so good. Um, so I'm watching season two right now. Um, I think I'm gonna put on an episode of that, but I like when I get home early because then I can put on an episode of TV and I'm not up too late. Um, tomorrow's pretty basic. I need to go to the grocery store. I might go down to Trader Joe's. I haven't been to Trader Joe's in a while, but then I also need to go into lab and do some TC stuff. I have to take care of my cells so that they don't die. And also I think I'm gonna set up some experiments for the week. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the vibe. I oh, had a good time. It was really, it was an easy night. Went over there, came back super smooth easy um yeah but i'm gonna demo this i guess it says like take a pearl size but like what what does that mean really you know what i mean like what what does that really mean but yeah i'm rubbing it in and it like gets on my gets on your hands so i guess it is like you just like rub it in I'm assuming that it's like oil based and it's hanging on to all of the makeup particles and then when you add water, all the oil is gonna go away from the water. So I guess, I don't really know. But yeah. Yeah, I think that worked pretty nicely. Um, now I'm gonna do my skincare, but I think I've already done that in this video, so. I will catch you guys in the morning. Cool. Hello friends. I just got back from the grocery store and I was listening to Tierra Whack who was the guest last night at the UGG event, who I've heard some of her songs before. I wasn't super familiar with her music prior to this. I'd heard like a couple of her songs um, before, but big fan, excellent entertainer. She's so good, so funny too. Um, but I got a lot of flowers. Um, usually I feel like Whole Foods does like the 10 stem tulips and they did the five, 15 stem, so gonna put those in my vases. Um, I think I'm gonna do some avocado toast. So I got some sourdough bread. Um, I like having bell peppers around. Sometimes I put them in omelets or scrambles. Sometimes I do like the stuffed bell pepper situation or like in burritos or something. So um, I got some of those. I got some um, ground beef uh, for, I think I'm gonna make burritos tonight actually. Um, I got some mushrooms. Um, I got some baby romaine, just for like salads and stuff. Um, I, so here's the thing. So usually I have my like little like journal plan of like what I need to get for the week. Um, but I went in blind cause I just wanted to go. I was like kind of running on the later scale. It's like 10 30 right now. Um, and I like to go before 11. It's just not as crowded, but they still like stocked the whole foods so it's like a good selection of things there's not too many people in there so it's good to go in there um but i didn't make a list and so i was going rogue on some things and one of the things i actually ended up getting was um the cold brew concentrate but i saw that it was cinnamon vanilla flavored which i think is really fun for like the holiday so it's special edition but it's the brand chameleon i've tried grady's before but i've not tried chameleon so we're gonna see what it tastes like. Um, sometimes I'm just feeling like an iced moment instead of um, doing something in my espresso, in espresso. So yeah. Um, and then I got some burritos, uh, or tortillas, burritos. I got some tortillas for my burrito that I want to make tonight in my handy dandy public goods, like reusable produce bag. I have, um, avocados for um avocado toast that i'm gonna make right now so i'm excited um then i have a poblano pepper that i'm gonna put in the ground beef mixture when i cook it 
um tonight i got a whew, pomegranate um another like seasonal thing that i bought that was probably way too expensive for me to be buying but it's okay another avocado and then a medium yellow onion also to go in the beef mixture i already have a red onion and jalapenos so I'm good on that front i didn't get hot sauce but i still have some in here does hot sauce expire this is buffalo sauce it's expired january 2023 so we're good on that um i still have chipotle mayo maybe i'll do that cool chipotle mayo on the burrito is that a vibe i don't know i i feel like it's hard to keep track of like what sauces i have like things um but yeah so i'm good on sauce but yeah that's what i got from whole foods super easy trip not too expensive um really if i wouldn't have gotten the flowers it would have been super cheap and i still have stuff from last week left over so um we are good to go on the food front but that's what we're working with that is the vibe i'm gonna put my flowers in my vase and i'm gonna make breakfast and then i think i'm gonna treat myself to a couple episodes of tv and then i need to go to lab i don't need to go but i think i am gonna go to do day one of a western I don't really want to do that and sometimes I think that I just want to go to work to like say I went to work and I don't really have anything that's like pertinent that I need to do and that feels silly to me so maybe I won't go today I don't know we'll see what I'm feeling also sometimes I'm feeling lazy and I need to go to work on the weekend or like I could get stuff done um and be ahead for the week um I will like schedule a movie at the movie theater by where I work and i will go see something like after as a treat and there's so much good stuff out right now like there is tar which i want to see with Catherine um blanchett is that her name why, why did that coming out of my mouth sound wrong um Catherine blanchett why did i type in her last name first oh yes kate blanchett Catherine. i'm screaming um there's so much out in the theater right now so there's tar with kate blanchett that looks really good um there is the policeman with emma corrin and harry styles that looks like it could potentially be good i really like emma corrin she's really good in the crown or they're really good in the crown um also i had a zit sticker zit stick a sticker on my face so that's fun um cool love that um what else is out i still haven't seen woman king with viola davis um fran and i are going to see um tickets to paradise on wednesday we need to book tickets for that actually so yeah how does the vibe that's what we're working with so i'm gonna put this away make breakfast watch the serpent queen which i'm watching right now it's on stars i think there's more episodes yeah there's definitely more episodes so i'm gonna watch the serpent queen and then i need to catch up on in episodes of tell me lies i don't know why i'm watching this show but that's what we're working with cool i'm gonna put this away like i said like i've been saying for the past two minutes um and we're gonna make breakfast cool let's do it
friends. Um, I just showered and um, I'm going to make some dinner. But I am first going to clean up some dishes from earlier. But I'm also going to open up my <laughs> Le Creuset pot that my parents got me for my birthday, which I know my birthday is in August. Um, I'm a Leo, if you did not know that. Um, but I just like haven't been cooking very much. And when I do, I use my same things. But I did ask for a smaller pot so that I could make smaller portions of rice and like noodles and stuff. So I got the Le Creuset pan. Um, so, yeah, let's open this bad boy up. Oh, because I'm trying to open it from the wrong side. That's why. Um, so it's actually this really pretty, like, cream color. Um, and it's got, like, the stainless steel handle. And it's, it's a small pot. Like, I really wanted something that would allow me to have, like, a personal size amount of food and then this is the actual pan part i think my parents got this from the outlet but i'm gonna clean this out and then we're gonna make some rice um but yeah that is what i got but i'm gonna clean this and clean my other stuff it's also like a super heavy duty situation i think you could also put it in the oven but yeah cute we have like crusette another pot to add to the inventory and it's pretty small I'm not really sure where I'm gonna put it yet I kind of feel like I need to redo my kitchen situation um because I feel like the way I have it right now I'm like wasting space but we shall see so cool I'm gonna clean and cook I'll catch up with y'all after that who is texting me my mama all right, so I have a bunch of PR packages over here, but I figured I would show you this one. So um, Audible is releasing a new audiobook. It's called Mrs. Wickham. Um, so let's see what's in here. Um, yeah, Mrs. Wickham. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so this is what the story is cool they sent me a qr code to get the audiobook um so that's nice a nice blanket which i feel like you can never get enough of and then we've got some goodies in here looks like we have some tea hot cinnamon spice sounds really good got a flask not really sure when i'm gonna use that but okay um, oh fun, got an Echo Dot, and oh, what is this? Shoot, this is like a clear kettle, that's cute, huh, nice. So yeah, I think in this box is um, dried flowers, and then it also came with this fun little candle that's timed, I guess. So that's fun. Thank you, Audible, for sending that over. Gotta figure out where I'm gonna put my Echo Dot. Probably in the kitchen, I guess. It's got a clock, so that's cute. Hello. I feel like I look frightening. I'm trying this mask from Comfort Zone. If you've ever heard of the brand Downness, like the hair care, it's like their skincare brand and they sent me a couple masks but i feel like either my is my face just small or what i don't know anyway trying to get all the good the good ingredients on my skin this is the de-stress one so let's see if i'm de-stressed <laughs> hello i just did this face mask and this was the de-stress mask and it was really nice i'm gonna go
put some serum and moisturizer on my face, but that was really nice. I feel really calm now, so cool. Hello friends, um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the video up here. I just painted my nails a nice, I feel like they're coming up more red on camera, but they're like a nice, I don't wanna say magenta color. They're like a ruby red, I guess. Um, but I use the brand Manucurist um, and I really like it. I feel like once you like really get the hang of doing your nails and they have like a lot of good videos on their Instagram of like how to get a good at-home manicure but the key I think is to go really light on the earlier layers of color and then build on it so that you're getting like smooth even layers um, I feel like has really improved my technique I still sometimes get like color on my fingers um, so I just go in like the next day or day after with um, a nail tool and just like kind of clean around it to make it super good. But this is pretty good, I have to say. Um, but yeah, I'm tired so I'm gonna go to sleep, but it's been real. I hope you enjoyed this video. I am excited to keep vlogging. So I will catch you in the next video. Um, yeah, be sure to subscribe, especially if you've made it this far. I feel like that means you had a good time. And give this video a big thumbs up if you are excited for the vlogs to be back. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will catch it in the next one. Peace out.